Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla podcast. Oh my god, have you seen the newest TV spot for the Godzilla film? If you have it right now, check it out as soon as you have a chance. This is the TV spot that's going to be shared uh, with audiences. Uh, I don't know exactly where or when this TV, uh, uh, like what TV show or channel or anything this is going to show, but presumably it's going to show on shows that we sci-fi fans love but it is brand new it looks like that hashtag demand to know campaign has unlocked this particular new TV spot so if uh, you don't have a chance yet go ahead please watch this and also be sure to spread that hashtag demand to know because who knows it could unlock future TV spots but it is amazing I'll just quickly talk about some of the scenes that stood out uh, with the particular TV spot, it starts off with the familiar scene that we all know regarding the train. I'm sorry, the railroad tracks that we've seen in other uh, previous trailers and teasers. But this time, it focuses on a train that's running straight to the soldiers. A flaming train. And so that's the first time of any indication that we have on that. Why is it in fire? Well, I don't, we don't know yet on there, but it's interesting to try to guess why it's exactly on fire what caused it on there but then as the soldiers are running and are trying to leap off something walks through the railroad tracks and it, it's again something as far as some kind of spikes uh, we've seen this actually in one of the other trailers but this time we get a much clearer shot and I'm starting to think that others have mentioned this as well and I'm starting to have more inclination towards it that it may not be Godzilla spikes but actually the tips of one of the mutos one of their wings or one of their legs folded like the top tips of it so that 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 causes the run-in with the railroad tracks so uh, some other things that stood out is that with regards to this TV spot we also see uh, some another shot of that tide that's coming in inland at night uh, gigantic tide it shows the mayhem of this by the way what's great about this TV spot too is that it shows a good focus on how global this movie is that it's not a small movie that it's a big one it encompasses many locations on there so that's what makes this TV spot so impactful as well um, it also showcases the paratroopers, of course, jumping. There's a very, very quick shot of some missiles flying through the air, trying to hit something. Uh, we don't see what yet on there, but something is being hit, and these um, these are missiles that are flying through the San Francisco Bridge, um, the same bridge that later gets destroyed uh, during uh, during uh, the movie itself. So you'll see also probably the mother shot and that is a very very brief you would have to blink and miss kind of deal but it's finally a full shot not a full shot I'm sorry but finally a real shot of the Muto or one of the Muto monsters previously we had just seen nothing in terms of the Muto other than toys and of course toys are never a really good representation but in this case we finally see a clear shot of the Muto and it looks horrible like in terms of how freaky this thing is uh, you'll see its beak like mouth screaming like roaring of some sort and what looks to be cables draped across it um, as if it's trying to pin it down with some people in the foreground either trying to pin it down or running from it on there it's too quick it's probably like a tenth of a second long but that's what it looks like on there makes it seem like this muto is breaking from something like like it was trapped in something for so long and that it's finally broken free I, I don't know but that's the feeling that I got when I saw it based on its pose and its scream like it's finally loose and it's breaking free from something so very very good stuff and then the second mother shot of all is a very again blinking you miss shot but it finally showcases Godzilla um, another shot of him whereas in the previous teaser we kinda saw him from far away this time it's a close-up shot and he looks beautiful absolutely beautiful it's a very dark shot too 
uh, out clearly it's at night with not much lighting on there but he looks menacing he looks absolutely just destructive reptilian alien like almost powerful it's it's a very good shot on there so i'm glad that this thing is finally going to be airing on tv and showcasing on so many channels because again previously we just have the snickers commercial but now we finally have people uh, that are going to see this and going to realize oh my god this is a real deal this is a real deal serious Godzilla movie so very good stuff I have a link for this directly below as well highly highly recommend watch it multiple times share it as many channels as many formats as many links and web pages as you can because we gotta spread the word and that way we can try to get more TV spots so alright thanks everybody take care Bye.